Again, that That's was right. his second, so a point, and that tightens this up. 4-3 now. So Wayne Piper, rather, getting the penalty point. And he now trails Ron Hurt of Omaha Father Flanagan. Four seconds remaining in the match. Can he get the takedown? And Hurt manages that four-point move to stand up through the entire match, and he wins the state title at 125 pounds. Look it up, Colin, look it up! The only match still going on now is C, where we have Stubbs of Superior on top. He's trying to get something going. He's behind 2-0, but he is in the top position. He was trying to get some kind of, some people call it a, a bow and arrow cradle there where he's putting his head in the side but he's got to get this man turned because right now Travis Goings has the 2-0 lead, so Stubbs has to score. He has to turn him to his back. It is the only match remaining. Travis Goings of Rushville in the bottom position in the black singlet taking on Colin Stubbs of Superior, a pair of seniors and the only two returning medalists in the weight class. It has been decided in Class A, Ryan Anglum of Omaha Westside improves to 31-3, and and ends his junior season with a 4 nothing win over Pat Brown. And with the pin by Jason Wood over Corey Kennecutt in Arapahoe, Class D has been decided in the oh, team Oh, Stubbs standing. is in trouble. He's been reversed with a cradle right to his back. And so all of a sudden, Travis Goings went from a, from a fairly tight match of 2-0 where it could still change hands quickly to taking a commanding lead here with only 18 seconds remaining. And it is now 7-0, Travis Goings of Rushville. His team has already won the Class C state championship. He is trying to add to it. Five seconds remaining in C. Travis Goings, third a year ago at 112 pounds, moves up two weight classes and wins the state championship at 125. 7-1 over Colin Stubbs. And as I was about to say, with the pin at... 125 in Class D by Jason Wood. Greeley Spalding Academy has won the Class D state team title with 113 and a half points over Arapahoe and Mullen. So congratulations to the folks in Greeley and Spalding Academy. Let's take a look at the results at 125 pounds. It's Ryan Anglum of Westside defeating Pat Brown of Alliance in Class B. Ron Hurt holds on to defeat Wayne Piper of McCook. That should be four to three. In Class C, Travis Goings of Rushville defeats Colin Stubbs 7-1. And in Class D, Jason Wood with a team-clinching pin over Corey Kennecutt wins it in Class D. Next up, 130 pounds. We are just moving right along here. Chris Blair of Omaha Gross takes on unbeaten Brad Murphy of Lincoln High in Class B. Jeremiah Penn of Beatrice and Doug Brower of Alli or Albion. rather In Class C, Brad Krotz of Rushville takes on Troy Glover of Centennial, and in Class D, a, a matchup between two unbeaten wrestlers, Mike Keller and Joe Cano. Please begin. That Class D matchup will take place in the lower right quadrant of your screen. Both wrestlers coming in 31-0. One of two matchups we'll have today with unbeaten wrestlers vying for the state title. And also of interest in Class A, on the top left, is the first of Lincoln High's three finalists, and again, that race has not been decided with Lincoln High and Omaha North still going at it. Lincoln High came into the finals today with a lead over Omaha North, which was the season-long favorite for the team title. Lincoln High with a slim lead, and of course, Omaha North got a championship from Chauncey Parker, so they have added to their team point total. It's important for Brad Murphy of Lincoln High to come in and uh, do the job, and he will be the first of two Murphy brothers that we'll see. And they are twin brothers, even though they're separated by a weight class, they are twins. The other will be Bart Murphy, we'll see him at 140 pounds. Two nothing to score in class C. Brad Krotz of Rushville leading Troy Glover of Centennial two to nothing. And two nothing to score is in class D. Mike Keller of Harvard, unbeaten 31 and 0, taking on Joe Cano of Humboldt, both unbeaten seniors. Keller leads that one early on two to nothing. Twenty-two county, two three two nine. 
A Class A, Chris Blair of Omaha Gross is in the blue singlet. Murphy of Lincoln High in the black. No score in that match. In B, Jeremiah Penn of Beatrice in the black singlet. And Doug Bohr of Albion in the red singlet. And Jeremiah Penn of Beatrice with a takedown. He leads 2-0. And those people who are watching Class B there, that was an excellent ankle pick. Nice technique in that move where Bohr got the takedown. I'm sorry, Bohr got taken down. And now gets an escape, and it's 2-1 to one in Class B. Now, in that Class B, Doug Bohr has been an excellent performer for Albion, not just this year, but the two previous years as well. He's done an excellent job for Albion. He's a repeat finalist, and he was the champion in Class C a year ago at 119 pounds. Albion, of course, moving up in classification. They go to the second period in B. Penn of Beatrice will be in the down position. He leads Brower. Two to one, and Brower wants to start with the optional stance, and it's now three to one, Jeremiah Penn of Beatrice. In class A, Chris Blair of Omaha Gross, a freshman, is leading Brad Murphy of Lincoln High two to nothing. Nice snap back in B. Well, didn't quite get any back points, but Brower sat out, and Penn tried to do a snap back on him. Penn turned in one of the big performances of the tournament so far, defeating Kevin McCarter of Wahoo in the quarterfinals. A 5-4 win in overtime. McCarter came in unbeaten, 30-0. One of the favorites for the title, but Penn is here wrestling for it, and he is looking for some back points with a 5-1 lead. Tied up now at two apiece in Class A. Murphy with the reversal on Chris Blair. And Murphy's working hard with the half, and A, he's got the man turned. Yes, he does. The referee is counting. Right now, he's got him in trouble. So in Class A, Brad Murphy has Chris Blair in trouble. So Omaha Gross, Chris Blair has to fight off his back. Doesn't get pinned, but three points against him. As the first period comes to an end in Class A, so Brad Murphy of Lincoln High, a 5-2 lead over Chris Blair of Omaha Gross. Blair coming into the match with a 32-4 record. He is a freshman, so look for him down the road. He defeated Frank Yabera of, Grenning, of Gehring, rather, 10 to two in the semifinals. Yabera came in 33 and one, and he was a favorite. So some of the favorites here at 130 pounds never made it to the finals. Well, when you come to these tournaments, it's always nice to look ahead, pick out your favorites and so on. But I'll tell you, when you get here, the record that you've had up to now really doesn't mean a whole lot. Everything you've done up to now is like practice for being here. In Class C, Brad Kratz of Rushville with a 2-1 lead over Troy Glover of Centennial. Troy Glover is making his third appearance in the state finals. And both times he has come up short. He's a two-time runner-up. In Class D, a wild one, 5-4 with a minute remaining in the second period. Joe Cano of Humboldt and Mike Keller of Harvard. Cano leading 5-4. And that's a matchup of two unbeaten seniors, both 31-0. Keller making his second straight final appearance. He was the runner-up at 125 last year. Keller of Harvard is in the white singlet down in the lower right-hand portion of your screen. And those people that, that are watching Class C, where we have Centennial. Centennial's been a power team for a good many years. And right now, Glover trailing, but he's a, a good competitor. A lot of time left in this match, so they're hoping that they can get another state champion. Glover cuts in to Cross's lead. It's now 4-3 in C. In Class D, still 5-4 between Joe Cano, the leader from Humboldt, and Mike Keller of Harvard. Cano's not used to these matches going into the second period. He opened up the tournament with a pin in 29 seconds, then a 36-second 30 second, 36 second pin in the quarterfinals. Another chance in Class B. He's trying to snap him back. If you're watching that, he's got his chin and his shoulder trying to snap back, but he's not able quite to control Bohr. And Bohr comes out for an escape, so we have a tie match in Class B right now. Six apiece. Doug Brower of Albion in the red on the left in Class B. Jeremiah Penn of Beatrice on the right. We're tied at six, a minute and a half remaining in the final. In Class A, Brad Murphy has extended his lead over Chris Blair of Omaha Gross. It is now eight to three. 27 seconds remaining in the second period. So Lincoln High fans 
looking for Brad Murphy to extend the Lynx lead in the team standings. And again, Lincoln High looking to become only the third Lincoln State, City State champion. In Class B, we just saw Doug Rohr of Albion get a nice takedown. So now he's ahead in that match with a minute to go, eight to six. So Doug Bohr of Albion takes the lead. Great matches at 130 pounds. Bill Dolman and Bob Fears with you live from the Bob Devaney Sports Center. We are certainly proud here at ETV to be bringing you the state finals for the 23rd consecutive year. Class A, well, the time runs out down in Class A. Oh, he gives him two for back points. So Brad Murphy scores two for back points as time runs out. And you see we have two officials working every match. So if anything's going to happen, any controversies, we have two sets of highs. Take a look at the action. They started that several years ago, and I think it has been very beneficial for wrestling because obviously in, in the heat of battle, uh, anybody could make a mistake. Not that they purposely would do that, but it's just a little error. Having two people out there helps eliminate a uh, possibility of a mistake being made. A stall warning has been given in Class C against Brad Crotts of Rushville. And in B, we've tied it up now at 8-8 again with an escape. Four has a little bit of a shot, but no penetration in Class B. Ten seconds remaining in that match in Class B. Jeremiah Penn in the black singlet and Doug Brewer of Albion. Five seconds remaining, and we're tied at eight. We may be headed to overtime. Three seconds, and they go out of bounds. Meanwhile, Brad Murphy in Class A in the black is working on a major decision over Chris Blair of Omaha Gross. Murphy is coming from behind. He trailed early, two to nothing. Two great matches in C and D. Brad Crotts of Rushville leads Troy Glover of Centennial, 5-3. And now Glover with the reversal ties it up at five. In Class D, it's 5-4. Joe Cano of Humboldt with 17 seconds remaining. Two unbeaten wrestlers in Class D at Cano. Holding on, Mike Keller with the shot. That would win it. Five seconds remaining in D. He got the takedown. Mike Keller of Harvard. Keller of Harvard is six five and he's trying wins. To pull it. He doesn't. He's trying to pull his leg over, but he couldn't do it. What a terrific come from behind match by Mike Keller of Harvard. Trailing in the last 15 seconds, gets the takedown and wins it in Class D. The battle of the unbeatens goes to Mike Keller of Harvard. He improves 32 and 0 and ends his senior year as the state champion. We're in overtime in Class B, and Brewer of Albion, a near takedown, and it's sudden death. Well, he may have been mistaken because they had two minutes on the clock. I thought that was third period, but evidently, oh, it's okay. I don't know why they had two minutes on the clock. There should be one minute period, but and a takedown in Class B. And that is the match, and Doug Brewer of Albion it's a two-minute sudden death overtime. All right, great move, great takedown. And Doug Brewer of Albion, he too comes from behind and defeats Jeremiah Penn of Beatrice, 10 to eight in overtime. So Doug Brewer of Albion, the C-119 champion a year ago, is the B-130 champion in 1992. Two matches still going on, and it's a tight one in Class C. We're tied at five. Brad Crotts of Rushville and Troy Glover of Centennial. Glover in the blue. Both of these schools have had great wrestling on and off over the years. Centennial has won the team championship a few times, and I'm sure they would certainly like to see another individual champion. And now Glover with a 6-5 lead over Crotts. 28 seconds remaining. Crotts needs to get the escape. In Class A, Brad Murphy, the Lincoln High Junior, looking to make it 26-0, does it with a 12-3 win, and the state title for Lincoln High, a major decision that adds to their team total with bonus points. And Crotts working on the reversal. He's got it, 20 seconds remaining, and now Crotts of Rushville leads it 7-6. So the only match remaining at 1:30 is going right down to the wire, and now Glover needs an escape to tie it up and send it into OT. On the edge of the mat, they go out of bounds with just five seconds remaining. So obviously we have two people with completely different 
points of view here, we have Glover who needs in the next five seconds to explode out of there, get some points, and obviously on the other side, Kratz is saying, I've got to just maintain my position here. I'm ahead. Don't make a mistake. Well, they apparently gave two back points to Kratz of Rushville because he went into that, that start with a 9-6 lead. So Brad Kratz of Rushville wins the Class C 130-pound title, 9-6 over Troy Glover of Centennial. And for the third straight year, Glover goes home with the runner-up medal, but he is a junior, and he will be back. Brad Kratz of Rushville, the winner in Class C at 130 pounds and the second straight champion for the Rushville Longhorns. And, of course, they have the team championship wrapped up in Class C. Some great action at 130 pounds. Let's take a look at the results again. Brad Murphy dominates Chris Blair, 12-3 in A. Doug Grower in overtime defeats Jeremy Penn, 10-8 in Class C. The winner, Brad Kratz of Rushville, 9-6. And in Class D, the battle of the unbeatens goes to Mike Keller of Harvard, 6-5 over Joe Cano of Humboldt. And that one went down to the last five seconds. So we will go now to 135 pounds. Unbeaten Adrian Martinez against Troy Noel of Papillion La Vista in A. In B, another unbeaten wrestler, John Tharp of Nebraska City and Jim Lordson of O'Neill. In Class C, Ryan Knudsen, 26-1, takes on Craig Schrick. And in Class D, Robert Mendez takes on Kevin Bonjoff, 26-0, again from Cambridge in Class D. So three unbeaten wrestlers looking for state titles at 135 pounds. And Lincoln High in Class A looking for its second straight state champion. Brad Murphy just won at 130. Actually looking for their second straight unbeaten state champion. And right away some action in Class D. Yes, in Class D, right, right off the bat, Mendez comes in with a nice takedown. Had to hustle a little bit to finish it up, but did a good job. In Class C, a 2-0 lead for Ryan Knutson of Mitchell. He is a two-time state champion at 130 and 112 pounds heading into this meet. No score in A or B. And for those of you who are basketball fans but would like to turn down your sets, of course, Nebraska's game will be shown on tape delay later tonight. So turn down your sets with three minutes remaining in the ball game. Nebraska leads Iowa State 66-57. So that's a big one for the Cornhuskers. Meanwhile, back at the uh, Cornhuskers Ranch here at the Bob Devaney Sports Center, the sport is wrestling. In, in Class C there, we just saw Knudsen attempting to hook a cradle up against Shrick, but he couldn't quite get his hands locked. And Centennial comes out for escape, tightens that matchup two to one in Class C. I'll let you know who we're working with now. Adrian Martinez of Lincoln High in the black singlet. He is on the right of your screen in Class A, taking on Troy Noel of Papillion La Vista in the maroon. In Class B, it is Jim Loritson of O'Neill with a 2-0 lead. He is in the black singlet, leading John Tharp of Nebraska City. In Class C, it's 2-1 in favor of Ryan Knutson of Mitchell in the black, Shrick of Centennial in the blue. And in Class D, Robert Mendez of Shelton leads Kevin Bonjoff of Cambridge. Mendez is in the orange singlet. Correction, Mendez is in the blue singlet. That's him on your screen down there in the lower quadrant, lower right-hand side in Class D. 135 pounds. Two to nothing is the score in Class B. Jim Loritson of O'Neill. And now John Tharp of Nebraska City in the purple, working on a reversal or an escape. Three seconds remaining, and he is not going to get it. He did, he did get it just as time ran out. I think it was one of those ones the official was, knew he had one, but you can't get one and two unless you break free, so he's waiting to see if he could get a reversal as opposed to just an escape. So it'll go to the second period in Class B. Jim Loritson of O'Neill, 35 and two, a senior, leading two to one over John Tharp of Nebraska City. Tharp comes in unbeaten, 30 and 0. He is a senior. These are the top two wrestlers coming into the tournament based on their records. 
That's in Class B. Still no score in A between Adrian Martinez of Lincoln High and Troy Noel of Papillion La Vista. In Class C, Ryan Knudsen of Mitchell, 26-1, also a senior, two-time state champion. Leads Craig Schrick of Centennial 4-1 in the second period. And Robert Mendez holds on to that 2-1 lead in Class D over unbeaten Kevin Bonjoff of Cambridge. We had a lot of action down in D just a bit ago, but no points were scored. And as you say, Robert uh, Mendez has a 2-0 lead, but uh, he's having some trouble on the bottom. He's getting worked on considerably, and I think he's going to have to get himself out of there. He's going to get refereed, I think, just talk to him. He's going to have to move on the bottom, or he's going to get penalized or at least warned for stalling. Bonjoff of Cambridge in the orange. That's in Class D, is unbeaten, 26-0, the only unbeaten wrestler in the field in Class D, 135. Both of those guys in Class D have four pins between the two of them coming into today's final. Still no score in Class A. And in Class B, Loritzen of O'Neill leads John Tharp of Nebraska City 4-1. 6-1 to one. Six to one is the score in Class C. Now 6-2, to two, Ryan Knudsen of Mitchell, two-time state champion, leading Craig Schrick of Centennial, both seniors in Class C. In Class A, we've just scored, and we've got a man in trouble, but his shoulders were on the line. The referee is trying to show us that we've got down there with Martinez of Lincoln High, helping Lincoln High put some distance between themselves and Omaha North. He's, and he does, he gets and the foul. Oh, big match for Lincoln High. They got a major decision from Brad Murphy at 130 pounds. And now Adrian Martinez caps his junior season 27-0 with a pin in the state championships. 34 seconds remaining in the second period. And Adrian Martinez, fifth a year ago, is the state champion in 1992. So it's over in A, but keep in mind in the team race in Class A, Omaha North has three more finalists coming up in the later weight classes, so it's going to be exciting in the team race in Class A. Three matches still going on in Class B. Loritzen of O'Neill leading Tharp of Nebraska City. Four to one heading into the third period. In Class C. Ryan Knudsen, looking for his third state title, leads Craig Schick of Centennial 6-3. Knudsen in the black, riding Schick. Just in, picked up a nice takedown for that, too. And now leads 8-3. And in Class D, Robert Mendez of Shelton, trying to do what nobody else has done this season, and that's defeat Kevin Vonjoff of Cambridge. Mendez 25-1, a junior, leading 2-0 in that match. And we just saw it over here in Class B that we saw Nebraska City come up with a nice, John Tharp kept with a nice reversal and almost caught him on his back, but now he's been reversed back. So instead of kind of shortening or getting himself into a tighter match, remains the same, 6-3, a three-point difference. But he almost caught his man on his back, and you see him there trying to do a little toe-hold elevator coming out with a switch, but he's not able to get much going. In Class B. It's over in A. Adrian Martinez, a winner by pin over Troy Noel of Papillion La Vista. A minute, less than a minute remaining now in Class B. That's at the top of your screen. Jim Loritzen of O'Neill riding John Tharp of Nebraska City. Loritzen leading 6 to 3. Five seconds remaining in Class C, and Ryan Knudsen will make it three state titles with an 8-4 win over Craig Schrick of Centennial. In D, where we've had this 2-0 score right from almost the very beginning of the match, it's still 2-0 with Mendez on top. He's got a, a split type of move on, but it, there's no chance from there, and the referee calls a stalemate that he would do anything. So that remains 2-0 with 25 seconds left. And obviously, uh, having uh, Kevin Bonoff with that 26-0 record, 25 seconds left, he can see his undefeated season in the state championship going down the tube if he doesn't move quickly. Both matches are a two-point differential. Tharp of Nebraska City needs the takedown here. He is in the purple. He is working on Jim Loritzen of O'Neill. 15 seconds remaining in D. 
And Robert Mendez is bullying his way to the 135-pound title. He leads two to nothing over Kevin Bonjob. Two seconds, one second, and it's over in Class D. Robert Mendez of Shelton pulls off the upset, defeating Kevin Bonjob, unbeaten coming in, but loses in the state finals. Mendez two, Bonjob nothing. And Tharp gets the takedown with three seconds remaining in Class B. And we'll go to overtime in Class B. John Tharp never quit, and it's our second straight B final that will go into overtime. It was interesting if you were watching that Class B that he was almost around, there were no points scored, and finally the referee went two, even though, even though at that time he still had, Larson had a hold of his leg, but he had actually lost control, and that's what they were looking for. Did, in fact, Thorpe have a controlling situation, and they decided he did and gave him the two right at the end of the period. Tharp holding on to his unbeaten record. He is 30-0, and, and a senior from Nebraska City... And he's got the takedown, and he comes from behind and wins the Class B 135-pound title with an 8-6 win in overtime over Jim Loritzen of O'Neill. A pair of seniors in Class B, and Tharp wins it. And it looked to me in that case as if Tharp had maybe a little better conditioning going into that uh, overtime bout. It just looked like... Uh, Lauritsen just didn't have the, the energy to keep going. It's all over in at 135. Let's take a look at the results. Adrian Martinez boosts Lincoln High's team title hopes with a pin over Troy Noel of Papillion La Vista. In Class B, John Tharp comes from behind in the last five seconds to send it to overtime and G defeats Jim Lauritsen of O'Neill 8-6 in overtime. And in Class C, Ryan Knutson, his third straight state championship, 8-4 over Craig Schrick of Centennial. And in Class D, Robert Mendez beats unbeaten Kevin Bonjoff of Cambridge, 2-0 for the Class D title at 135 pounds. Well, we've seen some unbeaten wrestlers come in, as we did Jim Tharp hold on to their unbeaten records, and then Kevin Bonjoff of Cambridge unfortunately loses his first match of the year. Unfortunately, it comes in the state finals. Is there more pressure on a kid when he comes in unbeaten, when he comes into the tournament, tournament or even in the state finals? Well, quite often it's an advantage. Sometimes it's a disadvantage, and it's an individual thing. That wrestler that's undefeated, if he allows that to become a pressure point against him, it can be because he starts to tighten up with each match in the state tournament. He becomes less and less aggressive. He wants to be remain unbeaten. And so eventually he starts holding back and that might be what ends up beating him. On the other hand, some people that are undefeated say, I'm undefeated because I'm the best. And so instead of getting tighter, they keep saying every win, I must really be the best. And so it could be an advantage. So it works both ways and it really is an individual factor. Well, we are getting a much needed break here at the Bob Devaney Sports Center. The 1992 Nebraska State High School Wrestling Tournament is brought to you in part by Nebraskans for Public Television. Join over 33,000 contributing members of NPTV by supporting quality programming with your membership. You can become a member of this elite group by writing to Nebraskans for Public Television, Post Office Box 83111, Department S, Lincoln, Nebraska 68501. Nebraska Public Television, it's TV worth watching. Bill Dolman and Bob Fears live from the Bob Devaney Sports Center in Lincoln, Nebraska. The 23rd year we've been able to bring you the state finals here on Nebraska ETV. And every year it just seems to get better and better and more exciting with the fans coming from all over the state. And, and of course the interest by the, from the folks who couldn't make it down here to Lincoln. But it's, it's just a great spectacle to be a part of. It certainly is, and they're, they're starting to give out those awards now, and it's going to be interesting to watch this. Well, we are through the 135-pound weight classes, and we've got a lot more action coming up next. We're halfway through the competition. Now let's go to state wrestling PA announcer John Shaw for the presentation of awards for this first six weight classes.
The Class B 103-pound medal winners, six, Zach Gresset of Holdridge, fifth, Patrick McMurray of Ashland Greenwood, fourth, Jose Fredrickson of Aurora, third, J.T. Carlin of Beatrice, second, Tim Sackett of Columbus Lakeview, the 1992 Class B 103-pound Nebraska State Champion, Troy Ruffner of Conestoga. The Class C 103-pound medal winners, six, Dale Hawkins of Oakland Craig, fifth, Jason Rempe of Superior, fourth, Jim Wolfcutter of Hebron, third, Ryan Thewan of David City, Second, Enduro Batista of Kearney Catholic. The 1992 Class C 103 pound Nebraska State Champion, Kirk Lance of Wisner Pilger. The Class D 103 pound medal winners. Six, Todd Souser of Pope John. Fifth, Tim Stevens of Red Cloud. Fourth, Ben Matter of Crawford. Third, Ronnie Miller of Arapaho. Second, C.W. Olson of Axtell. The 1992 Class D 103 pound Nebraska State Champion, Don Nordhues of Greeley Spalding Academy. The Class A 112 pound medal winners. Six, Greg Cervantes of Scotts Bluff. Fifth, Dave Wood of Bellevue West. Fourth, Vic Saucy of Omaha Creighton Prep. Third, Tim Mickles of Omaha Gross. Second, Marcelo Palamo of Garing. The 1992 Class A 112 pound Nebraska State Champion, Drew Harrison of Fremont. The Class B 112 pound medal winners, six, Adam Hughes of West Point, fifth, Jeff Meese of Seward, fourth, Scott Schultz of Ovigalala, second, Derek Cross of O'Neill. The 1992 Class B 112 pound Nebraska State Champion, Paul Hallett of York. The Class C 112 pound medal winners, six, Ben Edwards of Hebron, fifth, Ricky Pollock of Bennington, fourth, Jeremy Johnson of Neely, third, Jason Hendricks of Atkinson West Holt, second, Rick Kearns of Rushville. The 1992 Class C 112 pound Nebraska State Champion, Kyle Hobbin of Osceola Stromsburg. The Class D 112 pound medal winners, six, Daryl Dryden of Harrisburg, fifth, Lee Hoschild of Weeping Water, fourth, Jason Boner of Republican Valley, third, Marcus Jansen of Windside, second, Jeff Nielsen of Harvard. The 1992 Class D 112 pound Nebraska State Champion, Ken Nordhues of Greeley Spalding Academy. The Class A 119 pound medal winners, six, Andy Hospodka of Omaha Gross, fifth, Tim LaFaver of Fremont, fourth, Todd Hesty of Scotts Bluff, third, John Morrow of Grand Island, second, Delbert Miller of Hastings. The 1992 Class A 119 pound Nebraska State Champion, Chauncey Parker of Omaha North. The Class B 119 pound medal winners, six, Aaron Fritz of Ainsworth, fifth, Mike Anderson of Cozad, fourth, Kirk Going of Plattsmouth, third, Bryce Anderson of Shadron, second, Tyson McCoy of Ashland Greenwood, the 1992 Class B 119 pound Nebraska State Champion, Mark Bales of McCook. The Class C 119 pound medal winners, six, Jeremy Sear of Neely, fifth, Robin Mayberry of Rushville, 
Fourth, Lee Ober of Stanton. Third, Dustin Garrison of Tri-County. Second, Greg Jacobs of Luke City. The 1992 Class C 119-pound Nebraska State Champion, Ryan Meyer of West Point Central Catholic. The Class D 119-pound medal winners, six, Jeremy Ecker of SEM. Fifth, Russell Rickenbaugh of Friend. Six, Troy Marshall of Harvard. Third, Mike Sorensen of Weeping Water. Second, Kevin Nord Hughes of Greeley Spalding Academy. The 1992 Class D 119-pound Nebraska State Champion, Matthew Rogers of Mullen. The Class A 125-pound medal winners, six, Sean Donovan of Lincoln High. Fifth, Brian Adams of Garing. Fourth, Chad Lamontag of Bellevue West. Third, Chris Andretti of Grand Island. Second, Pat Brown of Alliance. The 1992 Class A 125-pound Nebraska State Champion, Ryan Anglum of Omaha Westside. The Class B 125-pound medal winners, six, Chris Arantz of Grand Island Northwest. Fifth, Mike Sato of Auburn. Fourth, Ben Stone of Lincoln Pius. Third, Brian Geiger of Sydney. Second, Wayne Piper of McCook. The 1992 Class B 125-pound Nebraska State Champion, Ron Hurt of Omaha Flanagan. The Class C 125-pound medal winners, six, Sean Sherry of Wisner Pilger. Fifth, Jason Nuttleman of Osceola Stromsburg. Fourth, Neil Halford of Fort Calhoun. Third, Brian Berenstrach of Tri County. Second, Colin Stubbs of Superior. The 1992 Class C 125-pound Nebraska State Champion, Travis Going of Rushville. The Class D 125-pound medal winners, six, Jason Larson of Anselmo Myrna. Fifth, Jim Welling of Crawford. Fourth, Eldrin Ectorcamp of Clay Center. Third, Kevin Lee of Shelton. Second, Corey Kennecutt of Arapahoe. The 1992 Class D 125-pound Nebraska State Champion, Jason Wood of Greeley Spalding Academy. The Class A 130-pound medal winners. Six, Joy Moritz of Grand Island. Fifth, Dean Chamberlain of Kearney. Fourth, Brad McCaslin of Scotts Bluff. Third, Frank Wabera of Gary. Second, Chris Blair of Omaha Gross. The 1992 Class A 130-pound Nebraska State Champion, Brad Murray of Lincoln High. The Class B 130-pound medal winners. Six, Andy Kelly of Grand Island. Fifth, Peter Clark of Aurora. Fourth, Mark Stuck Stuckenholtz of Auburn. Third, Brian Shellpepper of O'Neill. Second, Jeremiah Penn of Beatrice. The 1992 Class B 130-pound Nebraska State Champion, Doug Bohr of Albion. The Class C 130-pound medal winners, Troy Nust of Neely. Ryan Jennings of Benningford, number five. Fourth, Corey Weidel. Weidel. Third, Jeff Eppenbach of Burwell. Second, Troy Glover of Centennial. The 1992 Class C 130-pound Nebraska State Champion, Brad Croats of Rushville. The Class D 130-pound medal winners. Six, Mike Van Vig of Mullen. Fifth, Chris Brown of Hyannis. Six, Steve Wilshusen of Amherst. Third, Josh Hill of Arapaho. Second, Joe Cano of Humboldt. The 1992 Class D 130-pound Nebraska State Champion, Mike Keller of Harvard. The Class A 135-pound medal winners. Six, Jeremy Ide of North Platte. Fifth, Justin Hampton of Omaha Gross. Fourth, Ben Harrington of Grand Island. 
Third, Matt Graves of Miller North. Second, Troy Noel of Pavilion La Vista. The 1992 Class A 135-pound Nebraska State Champion, Adrian Martinez of Lincoln High. The Class B 135-pound medal winners, six, Datrick Orr of Omaha Flanagan. Fifth, Bob Kulik of Kimball. Fourth, Jeff Strothide of Shadron. Third, Dusty Stutzman of Schuyler. Second, Jim Loritzen of O'Neill. The 1992 Class B 135-pound Nebraska State Champion, John Thorpe of Nebraska City. The Class C 135-pound medal winners, six, Adam Hall of Hemingford. Fifth, Walt Nelson of Creighton. Fourth, Dwayne Caven of North Bend. Third, Matt Watson of Superior. Second, Craig Schrick of Centennial. The 1992 Class C 135 pound Nebraska State Champion, Ryan Knudsen of Mitchell. The Class D 135 pound medal winners, six, Gary Sorensen of Weeping, Weeping Water. Fifth, Monty Lukin of Oxford. Six, Ty Phillips of Arnold. Third, Pat Stewart of Pope John. Second, Kevin Banzoff of Cambridge. The 1992 Class D 135 pound Nebraska State Champion, Robert Mendez of Shelton. Bill Dolman and Bob Fears live at the Bob Devaney Sports Center in Lincoln. We are at the 65th annual Nebraska State High School Wrestling Championships. We have crowned champions in six different weight classes and we have seven more weight classes to go. And Bob, I've been really impressed with the way that these guys have really come out fighting. We've had some great, great matches that have gone down to the wire and into overtime. I think the wrestling has been excellent. We've seen a lot of action. We've also seen a lot of determination on the part of the individual wrestlers. And I would anticipate that that will carry on because we still have, particularly in Class A, the team race is still in question. And we're going to have Lincoln High coming up uh, in a situation that might end that race, but he's going to have to win it. They have got Lincoln High, speaking of the Lynx, have gotten some big performances and earlier matches from Adrian Martinez and Brad Murphy both getting bonus team points. So we take a look at the Class A team standings. Omaha North has gotten a state title from Chauncey Parker, but they have three more finalists coming up in the later weight classes. Following the 140-pound match, Lincoln High can only hold on and hope that they can, that they can uh, hold on to their state title. Daring is in third, Grand Island in fourth. McCook has won it in Class B. We knew that coming into today's meet. Takama Herman and O'Neill still fighting it out for second and third. In Class C, again, a team champion that was decided yesterday, Rushville, but David City and Burwell are battling it out for second and third. And in Class D, the state champion that was decided earlier today, really Spalding Academy with some great performances from their earlier weight classes. They'll win the state title. It's still close, but mathematically, Arapaho has been eliminated from contention. Arapaho and Mullen are in second and third. We go to 140 pounds, and here's a big matchup in Class A. Bart Murphy of Lincoln High against Mark Glasgow of Kearney. In Class B, Brett Ray and Jason Godwin go at it. Godwin coming in unbeaten. In Class C, Matt Olberding of Burwell and Jay Eddins of Bridgeport. And in Class D, a battle of unbeatens again in, the, in Class D, Jake Bentz and Steve Broker. Well, the last time we had two unbeatens meeting, it was also in Class D, and it went down to the last five seconds. Well, there's action galore right off the whistle here. Nice. They, we're just coming off a break. <laughs> I tell you, the break must have done something to these people. They were anxious to get started because we've had all kinds of things happening down in Class A. If we can look at that up on your screen, we've got a cradle right now in Kearney. That happened to be Blasco from Kearney. Had gotten a takedown, put a cradle on, got two back points, so he takes a quick 4-0 lead down there in Class A. Let's recap for you. In Class A, Bart Murphy of Lincoln High in the black. That's Mark Blasco of Kearney in the blue. He leads 4-0. And we have a pinning combination here in Class C in the lower left. Edens, Edens has uh, Oberding of Burwell in deep trouble here. He's had him there for a few seconds. He's very close. You can see Phil Pasale, the official, down there trying to make sure that those shoulders come down. And there's plenty of time remaining, a minute remaining, and there's the pin in the win for Jay Edens. 
of Bridgeport, a state champion, and now another pin possible in Class B. Well, the action is fast and furious as we come out of the break. Okay, in Class B, we see a half Nelson. He's got him on his back. He's working there. He does a step over. He's stretching him. The referee is looking tight. And again, plenty of time. 30 seconds remaining and a pin in B. And Brett Ray puts his man down. So an undefeated wrestler, Jason Godwin from Minden, unfortunately loses here in the state finals. And Brett Ray pinned his way to the title. Three straight falls coming into the final matchup. 316, 351, and 241, and gets a first period win in the state championship match. So congratulations to Brett Ray. He is the winner in Class B at 140 pounds. Again, we are completed in Classes B and C. Both first period pins, Jay Eames of Bridgeport, ends his season 34 and won his senior season with the state championship. He was the champion a year ago at 135 pounds. So two state titles for Jay Eames of Bridgeport. So the match is remaining now. In Class A, it's Jerry, or rather Mark Blaschko of Kearney, 34 and won, a senior leading Bart Murphy of Lincoln High in a big match that will go a long way in determining the Class A team champion. Murphy trailing 4-0. He is on the bottom in the black singlet, Blasco in blue. In Class D, a battle of unbeatens. The score is 2-0. Steve Broker of Oxford, 31-0. Two pins in the tournament, and the 90 state champion at 130 pounds leads Jake Bentz of Humboldt, 25-0. And we have just seconds into, we're just seconds into the second period at 140 in D and as well in A. The match in A is obviously an important match. Oh, Blasco comes out for one and it comes back with an immediate headlock and Lincoln High's Murphy is in trouble on his back near the edge of the mat, but his shoulders are inbounds. The referee's down there watching the shoulders. And a fall. A huge win for Carney. At 140 pounds, Mark Blasco, 35 and one now, and the state champion, his second pin of the tournament. And for Bart Murphy and his Lincoln High teammates, they can only wait to see how things transpire in the upper weight classes. Murphy, only his second loss of the year, and is not able to duplicate what his twin brother Brad did earlier at 130 pounds, and that is win a state title. These were the top two wrestlers in Class A. And Mark Blasco gives Carney its second state champion of the tournament following Jerry Thomas at one of